seven of those victories coming by way of knockout. Eduardo and Fantastico Baez! 35 victories, one defeat. on Sky Sports in the UK and Ireland. What a day of boxing it's been. Thank you for sticking with us as we are ready for our main event. Baez in the red and black trunks, the champion Navarrete in the blue and white trunks. It should be a good one. I'm trying to figure out the strategy right now from Baez. I don't know if he wants to test the legs because of the weight issues of, of Navarrete's or if he just seems a little stiff. <laughs> Dropping the underpants re-weighing and then they're saying that they believed he was still over but somehow 0.6 pounds came off the scale 0.6 commission said that he made the weight 0.2 under the 126 pound limit hmm. bias still not believing that he really made the weight you know what though uh, navarrete actually looks really dry jamel yeah, yeah, like, yeah, i don't know yeah, how yeah. much of a warm-up he really got going in the locker room, but he, like, not one bead of sweat. And not, and not, and, and not just that also, um, you never know how much fluid he put back in his body after the weigh-in. So right now, he just, he just... Ten months out of the ring, the longest layoff of the career of Navarrete, who at one time was, like, the most active world champion. He had fought four times in 2018, four times in 2019, and three times in 2020. Great, but one that... Oh, he yeah, connects with a big left hand right there. there. And a counter left hand by Bayer. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Looks to shoot that uppercut from the left side. Does Navarrete? It was too wide out. It was too far out. Didn't Just take like... long for this one to heat up. More action to come. Shots goes Baez. Uh, Baez definitely let his oh, hands yeah, go a fighting. lot more, trying to rough up, maybe catch Navarrete early as Navarrete oh. kind of swings wildly yeah. to get himself out of that corner. Fry. Yeah, I mean, I know he, he just doesn't seem like himself. He's just oh, like, and those are oh, some looping that, that, shots. Him, <laughs> there he is. Yeah, there, there he goes. I mean, he, oh. he swings so wildly with these shots. I mean, his style is so unorthodox. Yeah. It was like a yeah. weed whacker, you, you, don't, you know? Yeah, you don't know if he's cold or what. <laughs> it seems like he'll take a lot of, he'll take punishment, and then he'll come back. Navarrete has gone the distance in two of his last three fights. He went the distance with Ruben Villa, knocked out Christopher Patifo Diaz in the 12th, and then the distance in his last fight against Joette Gonzalez. Baez does have two losses and a draw on his record, but both of those losses for Baez have come good. A little wild, oh, yeah. Can't, can't be wild, though. You gotta be. And Navarrete is not one of those fighters you really feel like you want to fight fire with fire, but no. that seems to be what by in round one and two. Oh. This, this, this shot from Baez. <laughs> championship fight, the WBO featherweight world title on the line, the champion, Navarrete. You got, that, that's what I mean, when, when he makes mistakes like that, Navarrete is going to make you regret it every time. You can't shoot out that far from a guy who has range and height like that anyway. Excellent point. He's going to follow it and he's slipping to get his way in, but where's the jab at? He turns southpaw. Oh. Fighting out of the left hand stance. I'm going to shoot that left as an uppercut. There's the right uppercut. I'm hoping to get the stoppage after the sixth round. That's what by Oh, nice combination. Baez looking like he belongs so far. Right. <laughs> uh, back and forth Ooh. now. Uppercut. But every time, he's not ready to get him something big, and he doesn't like Chopping right hand. Baez, though, keeping up shot for shot, which we knew that he would. Yeah, yeah. It's just who was going to land the harder shots, the more effective shots. Flick uppercut landed by Baez at the bell. I mean
important, but we talked about the body attack, the 25 body shots from Baez through three rounds. It's quite impressive. That's going to be, that's going to be the key. That's going to be the key to this whole matchup. Slow down, right? Yeah, absolutely. Do you like that they touch gloves before every round, Jamal? Oh, no. I'm no, not a fan no. of this. I'm not a fighter, but I'm cool with saving. Oh. Agree with you. It's Maybe the layoff is taking him a little longer to find his groove as he lunges forward with the right hand and then shakes it out for a second. You see that? And it's probably one of those things also where he's getting a taste of his own medicine, like how he pointed out, like they, they're, they're similar in terms, of, in terms of styles of punches. So he's probably never seen, he's not used to seeing something like this in front of him. Oh. And he's slipping punches, he's dipping under room. Land a nice left hand to the body there. I, and I partially block that left hand. And good counter shots there though from Baez. Yeah. Ooh, oh, big right hand from Navarrete. Oh, oh, oh. That one caught Baez's attention. Now he's back moving out of the body though, I'll tell you that. Oh, the shots could have to lunge forward. Right, yeah, right. But these shots, you don't really generate as much power Stop. that way. I mean, that one, he sat down a little bit throwing that left hand, but he's kind of... More of the body. More of the body. From, from His manager, Sean Givens, who is, you know, working with uh, Eduardo Baez, run over to the... Round five is scheduled for 12. Christina Poncher, Jamel Herring with you on the call. Thank you for joining us. It's been a quite an exciting night, exciting card. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Two right hands and a left hand caught. Navarrete there leaning in. Navarrete caught the power, comes back and comes forward. But he needs to be first. You know what I will say though that, that I think we haven't, no one has really noticed is that Bias has actually been the one. Oh, nice left hand from Bias there. He's been first for the most part in these exchanges. And Navarrete has been reacting to what Bias is doing, and that's what he shouldn't be doing. Navarrete, because he, he, he needs to be first. There's oh, nice right hand that got through from Navarrete, and there's yeah. another right hand, okay. right cross. Bias can't keep, he can't continue going to the front door. He has to start using the angles. He's stepping over the side. Even, even going backwards is not good because Navarrete is going to shoot right back at you. Navarrete continuing to push forward now. Now being first a little bit more there, here. There you go. Ooh, Beautiful combination, combination from Navarrete there. Ooh. Finishing with the left hand. Two left hands. Oh, it's nice counter that, left from Baez. Yeah, it's been that left hook. That's twice in a row. That's twice this round that we've seen that up, though, because... Um, I mean, 10 months, that's, that's almost a year out of the ring. And I think that layoff is definitely was, was not the greatest thing that he would like have, like he had gone through. But, you know, he's in a fight, he, he has to step it up now. I think he's getting a little bit more into his rhythm. Tomorrow, six. Friendly reminder from Jack Reese as well, as we'll remind you, round six of this 12-round scheduled world title fight. And Emmanuel Navarrete comes out throwing a ton of looping shots here to start round six. Got <laughs> Baez looking a little shook to start this round. Navarrete. Jab right hand. Again, jab right hand finishes with the left that time. Good fight. Lotto is literally back and forth between both individuals. Nice left hand to the ball. 